Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you this 2014 64 plate Audi A5 2 litre TDI S line black edition, finished off in mythical metallic effect black. First things first, I'm going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle and then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the vehicle once again but in greater detail. We do use these videos to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi specialist workshop. So they are brutally honest and give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. So now we're getting back around towards the start. We'll zoom back in and uh, start looking at over the vehicle panel by panel, looking for any blemishes, dents, marks, anything like that. So starting on the near side front down towards the near side rear. Near side front wing looks really good. Near side front door looks in good condition. Near side rear quarter looks good. Near side front alloy, nice condition alloy, very light curb into the outer edge, so will be professionally refurbished prior to sale. On the near side front tire, we've got an Avon, so a high end tire on a good five plus millimeters of tread. Moving down the side of the vehicle now to the near side rear. Near side rear alloy, nice condition alloy again, light curb into the outer edge will be refurbished prior to sale and we've got another Avon on a good six millimeters of tread so two high-end matching tires good tread two refurbished alloys looking back down the near side of the car now from rear to front checking uh, all the panels again making sure we haven't missed anything near side rear quarter looks in good condition near side door looks good and the near side front wing looks good moving around the rear of the vehicle now so we're checking out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. The rear bumper itself looks in really nice condition. Very, very light markings as to be expected. Uh, just in a couple of spots like that that will be polished up and touched in with a genuine Mythos black uh, colour touch-up paint prior to collection. And we've got a very slight mark a little bit lower as well. All the same to be polished up and touched in. Tailgate and tail lights in good condition along the top of the tailgate as well. We've got the factory privacy glass that wraps around the rear of the vehicle, uh, all tied together with the black edition trims, looking real nice, and along the roof lining in good condition as well. Looking down the offside now from rear to front, offside rear quarter looks in good condition, offside front door looks good, and the offside front wing looks good. Offside rear alloy, again, nice condition alloy with very light curbing around the outer edge. Uh, so we'll be refurbished prior to sale and the offside rear tyre another Avon on a good six millimetres of tread moving down the offside now to the offside front alloy again really nice alloy needs a refurb so we'll be done prior to collection and we've got another Avon so we've got a full set of Avons on a good five or six millimetres of tread and four alloys that will be refurbished prior to sale one final look down the bodywork from offside front to rear Offside front wing looks in good condition, offside door looks good, and offside rear quarter looks really nice as well. Moving around the front of the vehicle, so we're going to check out all lights, grills, and the front bumper itself. As you can see, all lights and grills in really nice condition. Front bumper looks really good, just a couple tiny marks as to be expected, uh, that will be polished up and touched in with a genuine Audi touch-up paint prior to sale. Final panel to look at is the bonnet, and as you can see, the paint on the bonnet looks in really nice condition. No horrible marks or anything like that, no swirling. Really nice condition bonnet. Only a couple tiny marks along the front to be polished up and touched in with the genuine Mythos black touch-up paint before its new owner collects it. Looking at the uh, condition of the front screen now. No major marks to note across the driver's side. Only a couple very light surface markings, but no chips, no cracks there. Moving around to the passenger side. Nothing along the top. Just one little mark in the middle actually there. One tiny little surface chip there that will be uh, either repaired or professionally filled in prior to sale. Now we're gonna start making our way through the interior of the car. We'll start in the boot with these A5s at the press of the button do open the boot themselves nice feature 60 40 split folding rear seats that do fold down with the pull of a lever does have a set of mats in this vehicle as well and as you can see all the carpets and everything really nice condition all the plastics are pretty good for its age as well 
nice condition boot. Now we'll start making our way through the inside of the car. As you can see, let me just zoom out, make it a little bit easier. Driver's door cards in nice condition. We do have piano black inlays on this car. S-line kick plates. And we've got the full S-line Nappa leather. Really nice condition. Bolsters are still firm, holding their shape. No rips, no tears, no excessive wear or anything like that. No odors, no cigarette burns. Same goes for the rear interior. Really nice condition. Uh, two factory headrests, two three-point seat belts and Isofix fittings to both outer seats. The charcoal headliner throughout in really nice condition. We're just gonna climb inside the vehicle now and start it up. Passenger seat, same again. Really nice condition. Piano black inlays that run throughout, as you can see, all the way along the center console, across the dash. Starts up well. No signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. So running through some of the spec, we've got electric front windows, Electronically controlled, uh, adjustable heated and power folding side mirrors. Central locking controls just in front of the door handle. Automatic lights and wipers on this vehicle. Cruise control on the stalk just underneath the uh, indicator stalk there. Moving up the centre console, we've got all the MMI controls in the centre as you can see here. We'll run through those in a second. Got a six speed manual transmission, electronic parking brake, front heated seats and dual climate control and air conditioning with a digital display as you can see. In the centre here we've got traction control, stop, start and full parking sensors with optical display. In the MMI controls we've got digital, FM, MW and LW radio. In media we've got Bluetooth, uh, telephone connectivity and audio streaming and a couple of other options that you can see here. Satellite navigation is fitted to this vehicle and there's your telephone connectivity I mentioned just a moment ago. This car also comes with the upgraded Bang & Olufsen speaker system, as you can see by the chrome trims dotted around the car. And to finish off, this car's got a flat bottom leather bound S-line multifunction steering wheel, and this car's on 82,625 miles. So this car's flashing up uh, that it needs a screen wash topping up, but all our cars receive a fresh service and fresh MOT prior to its new owner's collection. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions regarding any of our stock or would like to book a viewing, give us a call on either 01724 876 555 or 07583 876 555. Thank you very much.